So this studio experience, we explored watercolor paints and water-based markers for watercoloring. So what exactly is watercolor paint? So these paints, when in their um, containers, I have one right here, you can see that they're pretty hard, but then when you add water to it with your brush, it becomes softer, and so you're able to create with it on your paper um, to create your art. And then for water-based markers, these markers have a water base to it, so when you take your um, your brush with your water, you're able to pull the pigments away from whatever line you created. This is another form of watercoloring when you don't have the paints with you um, or just makes it easier when you're on the go. So here's an example, some examples up top. So for watercolor paint up at the top is an example of what the container would look like with the different pigments of paint in there. And then to the right of that is an example of just what some watercoloring would look like with the different colors. And then at the bottom, we have what water-based markers with the painting would look like. Um, so you can see that there are a few different types of water-based markers that you could use. There's Crayola, Rose Art, and Crazy Art are some of the most popular. To the right of each of those markers, they created a different line or a swiggly line. Um, and then you can kind of see where they pulled the pigments from with their water and the brush. Um, so like for example, Crazy Art at the bottom, you see the kind of zigzag lines that they created and then the blue surrounding it is where they pulled the pigments. So about this medium, make sure when you are watercoloring, you don't leave your brush in the water. Um, when you're not using it, just leave it off to the side, but when you are using the brush and you're getting water just kind of dip it in the water um, don't leave it in there far too long and then just blot a little bit on the paper towel so you don't have too much water when using the water-based markers what you basically do is you just draw what you want and then you use water on your brush over the drawing to pull out the pigments and make it kind of look like water coloring um, when picking up and cleaning up the water coloring, just make sure the brushes are completely free of any paints. Um, this will prevent it, will prevent the bristles of the brush from hardening up too much. Um, so yeah, that was another medium that we used in integrated arts of the um, of watercoloring and water-based paints or water-based markers.